Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. My name is Frankie and this is your tarot reading. We're going to take a look at what is manifesting for you, who is coming towards you and love. And I will look at each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces, to see what to expect or their intentions, if any actions this week towards you. We are in that full moon. I'm recording it today in this full moon energy. I hope this um, you are feeling good today. Um, I know a lot of things might seem like they're not shifting or, or showing up in some of your lives. Some of you guys might be seeing things blossom, but the energy seems to be a little bit more lighthearted. It doesn't seem to be so heavy um, today uh, for me anyways. And I'm, and even being out in the collective, uh, it seemed like it was a pretty easy flowing kind of energy when, with my interactions with other people. So hopefully you're having a great day. Let's see what the energy show for you. And uh, let's go. I am still rooting for Virgos. I always will be. I have so many Virgos in my family and I'm a Virgo rising and in Following the astrology, um, guys, I mean, there's a lot of goodness going on right now, but sometimes there's still some shifts and stuff, and there's still reality, and there still seems like things aren't, you know, as, where's the luck? Where's the love, right? And the thing is, is that it is, it's unfolding. You got to try and see the light in between the, maybe the collective tower that feels like it's happening around some of you, I mean, around us. The trust the universe right now. So really, really tapping into with this full moon energy, surrendering and um, let your fears dissolve, right? Let your anxieties dissolve. Um, let your worries, give it, give it away. Enjoy the day as much as possible and trust the universe. Breathe through the tension, guys. You have Aquarius energy and you have Scorpio energy and that kind of like screams to me. Pluto and Aquarius, right, uh, with that Pluto energy in there. So there could be some, you know, that energy is affecting some of you along with this um, this full moon energy. But breathing through the tension and, and reminding yourself that all is well, all is going to be well. You have this Pisces energy underneath here. You have more Aquarius energy. And you have be real with yourself right now, too. Are things really, especially during a full moon energy, sometimes are illusions. We start to see things differently. We start to fear. We start to let our anxieties get the best of us. And we start to um, create stories in our head that are not true. Is it really what's really happening here? Or be real with yourself, um, ground in and say, is there anything really wrong? Or is this just a feeling I'm having, an energy I'm having? And if it's from fear, you know, some, you can't really tell the difference between your intuition and fear if you need to really worry about something. So settling in and, and uh, calming your nerves and relax and then not overthinking right now is going to be your, your best friend. All right. So let's see your energy. Let's see any obstacles that you're having and who's coming towards you, what's coming towards you, um, and whatever spirit has for you. Okay, Virgos. I pulled the sun card earlier. I started your reading a few minutes ago, and then I had to stop, pause, and I saw the sun card. So I'm going to, ooh, the ace of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, overall energy for you right now. So the opportunity is here. The ace of pentacles, if you guys have been following me, um, I was pulling a lot around that new moon in Taurus. It gives me that new moon Taurus energy, like something started, something began. You set your intentions for something. And now every single time this Ace of Pentacles shows up for me right now, it's a reminder that one of the doorways is here. One of the beginnings is here. Every moment's a new moment, right? A luck is around you. This is a really great energy. The Ace of Pentacles says a gift of money, an opportunity, a new job, a new home, a new fresh start, right? Coming in for you. Uh, the opportunity is here, but you've got to now take action and, and just keep rolling with it. All right, so you have an energy of the Ace of Pentacles around you right now. So let's see how this plays out. You, the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, that's your card. All right, this is you. Really focus. Get in there. Your hard work is paying off. You are a doer, a goer. You know, this is you working really hard. This is your return of investment. All right, so there is some movement when it comes around an opportunity coming in for you around money too and get into the finish line, 
It feels like getting to a finish line. Your work is paying off, and now there's a new doorway here. The King of Pentacles. All right, so keep, so this is what Spirit wants you to focus on. The King of Pentacles can also be that you have somebody coming towards you. Uh, this is a person, uh, an energy of a person. There could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, another earthy energy coming towards you, um, stay, you know, or you're manifesting another person towards you, an earthy energy. Um, but this card here is in the position of what spirit wants you to focus on as well. And it's saying that your future, your end goal, you're getting so much closer. You're taking steps there. All right. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles is showing you the Knight of Pentacles comes in before the King of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles says, stay focused. Right. Messages of movement. Uh, your investments are paying off. Your hard work, your diligence, determination is getting you one step closer or two step closer, closer to your castle here, your end game here. So you're almost there. You are moving forward, even though it may seem to some of you like, what, what's going on? It doesn't seem like it, Frankie, in this energy. Or it's just like, I've been waiting for so long. I'm feeling like giving up. Or it could be, are you sure? You know, I just, it doesn't seem like anything's moving. But yes, it is moving for you. Um, stay focused on the bigger picture. You have a lot of earth energy showing up for you. So it really does feel like breathe through any tension, stay grounded, and trust the universe, all right? Who's coming or what's coming towards you? You got the Page of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands here as well, too, what else Spirit wants you to know, and the Five of Swords in reverse. So release. Again, I'm getting a strong energy of um, breathing through the tension, Virgo, and trying not to get in your head today. All right. Or over the next couple of days. All right. The nine of wands is showing again an energy of you're tired, maybe, or you have been through so much in your life. Right. The nine of wands shows uh, this warrior energy that says, um, you know, I, I have fought so hard to get where I'm at. And I'm and that's a card that spirit says, don't give up now. Like, just don't give up. This is whenever we feel called to just about give up in the moment is when everything. And you know what? That's also a moment of the, the biggest surrender too. when you just are finally like, you know what I did. I've done everything I can do. You're showing up as the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. You, I mean, you've done so much. You've worked so hard um, on what it is that you're trying to manage. If this is a relationship, obviously, this energy here is saying you really have been putting in your all. All right, so now let's see. You know, what's coming towards you is the Page of Pentacles, um, which is an offer. So we do see an offer coming in. For some of you, if you're not focused on love, right, this is saying an offer coming in, a new doorway, um, a, a new job, a gift, a money offer, something coming in that is helping you build or get to the next step in whatever it is that you're uh, working on for career, life. You got a lot around money here showing up for you to be honest, Virgo. And I know we're doing, you know, a love reading as well, but you have a lot around um, improvement in your work and career life. All right. So releasing the tension as you're moving through. We have justice being served, and justice is success here. All right. It's a balance. It's things coming into balance for you. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card could actually be some of you um, a fresh start in a new home. It can be, um, you know, fresh start, a new relationship, a commitment, a new commitment. It can be buying a house, buying a car, buying something, um, but feeling like uh, success is on your side. So justice is yours, Virgo. So let me get one more card here for you. And then I'll look at Aries through Pisces because you have the page of Pentacles showing up for you, which shows, hey, you know, um, I'd like to get to know you, one, in a love reading. I'd like to compromise with you. It's a sincere message coming towards you. So many of you could be manifesting in, you know, this this message you've been waiting for, this this offer, this um this let's get to know each other and it's also a card of compromise so if you've been if you've been battling with your partner with that nine of wands the page of pentacles says hey can we get to know each other again can we try to understand each other can i see your perspective can we take a look at the bigger picture here and is this worth what we're fighting about right um and so the justice card is saying finding some sort of um, fairness, balance, and love um, in this relationship. The consequence of fear. 
is showing up for you. And this can be when we contract, when we when we let the tension get the best of us and we don't face the fears and we don't, um, it's like dissolve your fears, let them come to surface and be like, okay, I see you. I know you're fearful, um, but I'm gonna let you go. This is, I'm not gonna worry about this, right? Because the frequency of fear can bring about self-fulfilling prophecies. So if you fear something so much, eventually you will create it to happen in your life. You will know it's going to happen. You, And then you'll think that it was your intuition, but really it was the frequency of fear that is bringing in something um, that you don't want. All right, so just keep that in mind. And the burden of choice here, too, as well, choosing higher ground, consequences, unconscious choice, and um, making, unco making unconscious choices, All right? So this is also about that fear energy of yours. You may be making choices because you're, you're, you're full of fear, and this is going to be why you are fulfilling um, these prophecies, right? Because you're making decisions that you normally wouldn't make if you weren't fearful. So think about that. If you weren't afraid of somebody not texting you or afraid of somebody rejecting you deep down inside, you would not be um, being anxious about reaching out to them or needing to talk to them or um, or having them right there. You wouldn't have this fear, right? So your biggest fear is that I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to be with them. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to achieve. I'm going to have. I'm going to fail. Right. And this is where you have to make a conscious choice to say, all right, these fears of mine, I see you, but I am not going to let you control me because this I will end up manifesting exactly what I don't want. So just keep that in mind, Virgo. And another chance to be is what's coming up for you. So reclaiming, second chances, a rebirth, and emotional healing. So spirit is telling you here, this is like the death card showing up for you. It's like reclaiming your power here. You're getting a second chance um, to, to resurrect yourself with that Ace of Pentacles, a fresh start here, another chance to be. All right, so clear away any of the stuff that no longer serves you right now, especially with this full moon energy. Clear it away and say, all right, this is me now. This I'm in the present moment, and now I'm going to ground myself in, and this is what I'm working towards, and I'm not going to let fear get the best of me. All right, so let's see Aries through Pisces. Let's see Aries through Pisces. What to expect from Aries through Pisces? Let's see who's with this page of pentacles you've got. Overall energy of an ace of pentacles. So you're seeing a fresh start or meeting somebody, building something, building something solid, getting to know one another with that page of pentacles. So let's see how it plays out with each zodiac sign for you. We have strong earth energy showing up for you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You do have Libra. You have Scorpio and you have an Aquarius. That does not mean, I mean, any sign can show up for you this week. But for those of you that want confirmation, those are the major signs that are showing up here. Right? You got the full energy at the bottom of the overall energy with you and your love. All right. So we are seeing again a fresh start um, with my Virgos. All right. With that full energy. So Aries, King of Wands, the Ace of Wands. And you, the seven of wands, let down your guards, you know, defend yourself against your fears. You've got potential here. You have communication. You have an Aries taking, taking lead, taking action towards you right now. So a lot of chemistry there, but it does seem that you're a little guarded or you're defensive. You have to get rid of those fears. Taurus, four of pentacles. The Page of Swords, all right, the Star card, you are calling in a Taurus. You and Taurus here are, are connected, the Four of Pentacles, building a foundation, right? That's the Four of Pentacles, all right? We got to put, we got to build together. We got to get things together. We got to figure out what we're doing, what we want. The Page of Swords, mutual energy and understanding. You both want to communicate in here about the same thing. So this week, you could be really talking. There could be some good news with you and a Taurus. There's some information coming in with you and a Taurus. There's some planning and taking action here with that page of page of swords. 
the star card is showing that what you know you what you want the your taurian wants all right the star card you're in alignment gemini page of wands the judgment card so you're getting a second chance here with a with a gemini the seven of cups it seems like you've been manifesting in a gemini you you can't stop thinking about a gemini page of wands you got gemini here coming in a little flirty coming in a little bit fun and excited so it could be a date or some you know some flirty messages with a gemini Cancer, the lover's card, and the five of wands, and the death card for you. You got to let go a little bit of a cancer. The lover's card is here. You guys have deep love for each other, and you guys will come together, but you just can't force this. So the death card is saying you're getting a second chance with a cancer, so let go a little bit and let things play out. Leo, the two of wands, the four of wands, and the two of cups. You and Leo both want the same thing. You're both in love. All right. And the four of wands is showing you building a foundation together. The four of wands. There could be a reunion this week. It looks like Leo is going to step out of their comfort zone. Looks like you're getting what you want. Virgo, we have King of Swords clearing your head. Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So talk about synchronicity here. All right, stay focused on your Virgo. They're doing what's best, all right? The seven of swords, you might be letting your anxiety get the best of you. You might be getting fear, uh, jealousy, anything like that get the best of you. Um, you're not seeing clearly uh, illusions, the seven of swords. There could be trust issues between you and another Virgo. But your Virgo here is the king of swords, really trying to take a look at the bigger picture and do what's right, do what's best for everybody involved. The knight of pentacles is shown. Stay focused and stay determined. You're getting so close to your win with the Virgo. Libra, queen of cups, the hanged man, and the ten of pentacles. All right, focus on the bigger picture with a Libra as well. You've got to surrender, let go a little bit. There could be a pause. Seems like Libra might be focusing on themselves, a little bit of self-love, healing. Um, I don't know if there's another person in their life. There could be they nurturing or taking care of somebody or trying to figure out what to do with themselves, right? The hanged man is showing a transition is happening, but there's a waiting period. All right, focus on the bigger picture with a Libra. Scorpio, three of wands, waiting it out a little bit, right? The two of pentacles and the justice card. You and a Scorpio, strong energy, all right? It's coming in for you. The two of pentacles, you know, be flexible with a Scorpio. It looks as though you guys are making plans. The time is here, all right? You're pushing through the final pieces here before you get to your justice with a Scorpio. Looks like a commitment, a serious commitment. We have Sagittarius, Nine of Wands, the Magician card, and the Eight of Pentacles, all right? You're working real hard. You're real focused. You both want the same thing with the Sagittarius, all right? Uh, the Magician card is showing you guys are pulling each other in. There could be They could be taking action towards you this week. The Nine of Wands, they're not giving up on you. The same thing up here. The Nine of Wands looks like a Sag is coming in really hard for it. Capricorn, the devil card, all right, the page of cups and the king of cups. Capricorn's got a lot of love for you. They might not be showing you how deeply they have love for you, all right? There's an attachment here. There's a sexual attraction towards you. You have a Capricorn obsessed and about you. We have Aquarius, nine of swords and the empress card and the world card all right so there's could be a painful ending happening with an aquarius you might be getting your justice finally getting um you know the empress there is a lot of love there there's uh um you guys care about each other but there could be some regrets or some pain about the past all right the world card is kind of showing if you guys can find some justice here um let go of the past there could be a new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles. Pisces, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. All right, so Pisces doesn't want to see things end. Pisces wants to be together, and Pisces may take action towards you this week. The Fool card, guys. This is a really good week for a fresh start with my Virgos. A really good week for you. So hang in there. Let your fears dissolve. Trust the universe and know that you're going to be getting a return of your investment. I love you guys. Take care. Happy full moon.